how convenient. FBI finds five months of lost text messages. The scandal surrounding apparent bias within the FBI has just taken a dramatic new turn. After first claiming that a staggering 50,000 text messages which could be evidence of plans to undermine the president were mysteriously missing, the FBI announced Thursday that it had suddenly recovered them. Those messages took place over a five-month period and were sent between government investigator Peter Strzok and other FBI officials, including his mistress Lisa Page Strzok has been revealed as harboring clear and aggressive anti-Trump views and sent cryptic messages alluding to an insurance policy and a secret society that he apparently hoped would take down Donald Trump after the election did not go the way the agent wanted. In a letter sent to congressional committees, Justice Department Inspector General Michael Horowitz said his office succeeded in using forensic tools to recover text messages from FBI devices, including text messages between Mr. Strzok and Ms. Page, that were sent or received between December 14, 2016 and May 17, 2017, Fox News reported. Strzok's messages are particularly important because he was directly involved in the investigations of Hillary Clinton and now Donald Trump. Critics fear that the investigators' obvious one-sided bias may be the tip of the iceberg for a deeper problem within the FBI and the Department of Justice. After it was discovered that there was a massive missing gap in the text message record, Republicans including Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Congressman Trey Gowdy expressed outrage and pledged to uncover what was going on. We will leave no stone unturned to confirm with certainty why these text messages are not now available to be produced, and will use every technology available to determine whether the missing messages are recoverable from another source, Sessions recently stated. It appears that those efforts to recover the messages, if the FBI had actually lost them at all, have now been at least partially successful. Our effort to recover any additional text messages is ongoing, acknowledged Inspector General Horowitz. We will provide copies of the text messages that we recover from these devices to the department so that the department's leadership can take any management action it deems appropriate, he continued. That could be bad news for Democrats and FBI insiders Robert Mueller and James Comey. Mueller's special investigation into alleged collusion between Trump and Russia has so far had only lackluster results. But there is growing evidence that it was the Obama-era Department of Justice that was internally colluding on a witch hunt to influence the election and derail Trump. Officials like Rep. Trey Gowdy and Rep. Devin Nunes have become frustrated with apparent stonewalling from Democrats and the FBI, and will no doubt be first in line to review the newly recovered text messages. Any evidence of bias or wrongdoing could land Comey and others in front of congressional hearings, explaining under oath exactly how rampant the power-grabbing and favoritism was at the J. Edgar Hoover building. The American people are fed up with this nonsense. It's time for the truth to come out, and if figures like Comey and Strzok were as dirty as they seem, they need to answer for betraying the trust of the citizens they serve. Please press share on Facebook to make sure this bombshell development is seen.